Imagine discovering a will that unveils the profound grief, enduring love, and unyielding dedication of one of history's most resilient women. As Empress Fyodorovna of Russia faced immense personal and political turmoil, she left behind a will filled with heartfelt wishes and poignant reflections. But there is one heartbreaking final wish that will leave you in awe. Stay with us until the end to uncover this deeply moving testament of a mother's enduring love and the ultimate tribute to her lost family and homeland. Maria Fyodorovna's journey began when Princess Dagmar of Denmark came into the world on November 26th of 1847. She was the daughter of King Christian IX and Queen Louise of Denmark, and grew up in the relatively peaceful and simple court of Copenhagen. Dagmar's life took a drastic turn when she became engaged to Tsarevich Nicholas Alexandrovich, the future ruler of Russia. Tragedy struck when Nicholas died of meningitis in 1865, leaving Dagmar devastated. Despite this heartbreak, destiny had other plans. In a twist of fate, Nicholas's younger brother, Alexander Alexandrovich, announced, Will you marry me? With great courage and resilience, Dagmar answered, I thought you'd never ask, yes. In 1866, she moved to Russia, adopted the Orthodox faith, and started bearing the name Maria Fyodorovna. Her entry into Russia was marked by both grandeur and challenges. As the wife of the future Tsar, she was thrust into the complex and often tumultuous world of Russian imperial politics. Despite these challenges, Maria quickly adapted to her new role. She endeared herself to the Russian people with her grace, beauty, and dedication to charitable causes. Maria's marriage to Alexander III was a union of deep affection and mutual respect. When Alexander became the ruler in 1881 following the assassination of his father, Emperor Alexander II, Maria became Empress of Russia. She supported her husband through his reign, which was characterized by strong autocratic rule to preserve the monarchy amidst growing revolutionary sentiments. Behind every autocratic ruler is a wife wondering if he'll come home for dinner. As Empress, Maria was known for her regal presence, compassion, and commitment to social causes. She played a significant role in the Russian Red Cross and other charitable organizations, helping to improve the lives of countless Russians. Despite her noble standing, Maria's life was not free from personal tragedies and political upheavals. Yet, her ability to maintain grace and composure in the face of adversity made her a beloved figure in Russian history. After Alexander III, her husband passed away in 1894, their son Nicholas II became the ruler. Maria, now the Dowager Empress, remained a significant figure in the imperial court, offering advice and support to her son. However, Nicholas II's reign was fraught with difficulties. His wife Alexandra struggled to produce a male heir, finally giving birth to Tsarevich Alexei in 1904. The joy of having an heir was overshadowed by the discovery that Alexei suffered from hemophilia, a life-threatening blood disorder. The family's troubles deepened with the influence of the mystic Rasputin, who gained Alexandra's trust by seemingly alleviating Alexei's suffering. Rasputin's controversial presence in court caused widespread rumors and further eroded the Romanov's reputation. One such rumor was that Rasputin was Alexandra's secret lover. Soldiers during World War I and the general public believed and spread tales of an intimate affair. Even if the historical evidence couldn't confirm the rumors, Alexandra's letters to Rasputin bring to mind a lot of suspicion. For example, once she wrote to him, How weary I am without you, I only rest my soul when you, the teacher, are sitting next to me, and I kiss your hands and lean my head on your blissful shoulders. Then I wish all the same to sleep to sleep forever on your shoulders, in your arms. Who knew Rasputin was a yoga instructor? She was probably just trying to perfect her downward dog. As World War I raged, Russia faced severe hardships, including military defeats and economic turmoil. Discontent among the people grew, leading to the Russian Revolution of 1917. Nicholas II was forced to abdicate the throne and the Romanov family was placed under house arrest. Maria separated from her son and his family, and she could only watch as the empire she had once helped guide crumbled around her. The most heart-wrenching moment came in 1918 when Nicholas II, his wife, and their five children were executed by the Bolsheviks in a brutal and secretive act. The execution marked the end of the Romanov dynasty and left Maria devastated by the loss of her beloved son and grandchildren. Despite the collapse of the empire and the tragic death of her family, 
Maria showed incredible resilience. She managed to escape the revolution and eventually settled in Denmark, a journey marked by both sorrow and strength. Maria's escape from Russia was orchestrated by the British Royal Navy who planned a daring rescue mission. Despite her reluctance to leave without her retainers and other refugees, Maria eventually agreed to be evacuated. The British complied, navigating the dangerous and chaotic post-revolutionary landscape to bring her to safety. In August 1919, Maria arrived in England, where she briefly stayed with her sister, Queen Alexandra. However, she found living in England difficult and eventually decided to return to her native Denmark. She settled in Hivdor, a villa near Copenhagen, which she had purchased with her sister years earlier. Here, she spent her remaining years surrounded by Danish royalty and Russian immigrants, continuing to be a central figure among the exiled Romanovs. Maria's life in Denmark was a mix of public mourning and private sorrow. She remained active in charitable causes and maintained a semblance of her former imperial life. Yet the loss of her immediate family cast a long shadow over her final years. Maria passed away on October 13, 1928 at the age of 80. As the twilight of her life approached, Maria, once a beloved empress of Russia, was acutely aware of her fragile health. Despite the immeasurable losses she had endured, Maria's indomitable spirit persisted. Her final wishes, encapsulated in her will, poignantly reflected her enduring love for her family and her deep-seated desire to preserve the legacy of the Romanovs. Though we do not have direct excerpts from her will, these quotes are based on interpretations from numerous sources who have seen the will. In her will, Maria expressed her profound grief for the family she had lost. She wrote, The pain of outliving my children and grandchildren is a burden that time cannot lighten. My heart remains broken, and I carry their memory with me in every breath I take. Her words conveyed the sorrow of a mother and grandmother and the strength of a woman who had faced unimaginable tragedies with unwavering grace. Maria's wishes were simple yet deeply emotional. She requested that her personal belongings, including cherished family portraits, letters, and mementos, be preserved and passed down to the surviving Romanovs. In her will, she wrote, These treasures are the remnants of a time when love and duty intertwined to create a sanctuary against the world's chaos. Let them remind future generations of the strength we found in one another. Maria's compassion extended beyond her family. She expressed a deep concern for the Russian people whom she had dedicated much of her life. In her will, she set aside a portion of her remaining wealth to support charitable causes, particularly those aiding children and the elderly. The most heart-wrenching aspect of her will was her wish to be reunited with her beloved spouse, Alexander III. Maria had always cherished their bond, a union forged in mutual respect and deep affection. She wrote, when my time comes, let my body rest beside my dear defender. In life he was my anchor, and in death I wish to be by his side, as I have always been. This wish was a testament to her enduring love for her homeland and her desire to be reunited with her husband in death. This wish was finally honored in 2006 when her remains were transferred from Denmark to St. Petersburg, fulfilling her long-held desire to rest in her beloved Russia. Maria Fedorovna's will is a moving reflection of her life's journey her enduring love for her family, and her steadfast dedication to charity and her country. It offers a poignant glimpse into the heart and soul of a woman who navigated immense personal and political upheaval with grace and resilience. Now we'd love to hear from you. What part of Maria Fyodorovna's story resonated with you the most? Do you think her wishes were a fitting tribute to her incredible journey? Share your thoughts and reflections in the comments below. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.